This is the 2017 Math Kangaroo Level 7-8, problem number 28. Two runners are training on a 720 meter circular track. They run in opposite directions, each at a constant speed. The first runner takes four minutes to complete the full loop, and the second runner takes five minutes. How many meters does the second one run between two consecutive meetings of the two runners? A, 355, B, 350, C, 340, D, 330, or E, 320. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we will be doing the solution. So this formula over here is very important to do this problem. Distance is equal to speed times time. So the problem gives us two runners, the first of which takes four minutes to complete the full loop, which I have marked as being runner A and in blue, and the second runner, which takes five minutes, which I have marked as being runner B and done the work for in red. So we know that the first runner, runner A, runs around the entire track in four minutes, which is equal to 240 seconds. Using this formula, we know that speed is equal to distance over time. So the speed of runner A is equal to the distance, 720 meters, over time, which is 240 seconds, which simplifies to a speed of 3 meters per second. Now let's do the same for runner B. 5 minutes is equal to 300 seconds, which means the speed of runner B is equal to, again, distance of 720 meters over time of 300 seconds, which simplifies to a speed of 2.4 meters per second. Now we know that these two runners are going to start at some point, so I've marked over here, start running in opposite directions for the same amount of time, and then meet at another point, which I have marked over here. Well, we know when they're meeting, the distance of runner A plus the distance of runner B must be equal to the length of the entire track, which is 720 meters. And we know that distance is equal to speed times time. So the distance of runner A must be equal to speed of 3 meters per second times time and the speed of runner, sorry, the distance of runner B must be equal to speed of 2.4 meters per second times time. And again, the time for both runners must be the same because they start running at the same time. And the sum of these two distances must be equal to the total length of the track, which is 720 meters. Well, now we can factor out the time, t, and get t times 5.4 meters per second, which is 3 meters per second plus 2.4 meters per second. And this, again, must be equal to 720 meters. So we can simplify that t is equal to 720 over 5.4 seconds. And we can leave it like that for now because we know that we're looking for the distance that runner B runs. And we don't need to simplify the time right now. So the distance of runner B is equal to speed times time, which we have just found. We know that this simplifies to 2.4 times 720 over 5.4 meters. Well, we know at this competition, we don't have access to a calculator, so I multiplied on top and bottom by 10 in order to get rid of the decimal. And we know that 24 is equal to 6 times 4, and 54 is equal to 6 times 9, so we can divide by 6 on top and bottom. And we know that 720 is equal to 80 times 9, so we can divide by 9 on top 
and bottom and get a total of 4 times 80, which is equal to 320 meters. The distance runner of runner B is equal to 320 meters, which is answer choice E. Thank you so much for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe.